Hey guys, here is my living room and I want to show you the little alcove space that I'm going to add some blanket storage. It's just right over here. Um, the wall goes in a bit. It's just a nice little hideaway kind of tucked away. Um, I just thought it'd be a perfect place to, to store our blankets so that we don't have to um, fold them all the time or put them in baskets or whatever. So. Um, I measured the space, cut my wood. This is a one by four piece of pine, just some scrap wood that I had. You just want to make sure that your board is the appropriate um, thickness, um, height for whatever hooks you use. And I will link to the hooks that I used so you can see that. Um, and I just needed two hooks, so I made sure I marked them um, evenly on well, for both ones. Um, I didn't want one off center so um, go ahead and mark your hook spots both horizontally and vertically I, I mark the center spot because this is um, where I'm going to be uh, attaching the board to the wall and so um, you also should make sure you know what hooks you're using so that um, you can make sure to know that the hook Base will cover your screw. Um, the thing I love about my hooks is they're hollow backed and so even though I, I do um, drill in a bit, I drill the screws recessed, um, I wouldn't have had to because they're, um, out, they're hollowed out. So um, I also took the blankets that we're always using and I checked the height so that when we hang them I know they're not going to be dragging on the ground. Um, we just use small twin size fleece blankets. Um, just, you know, a little throw blanket. We get pretty chilly um, with the, the AC on or in the winter. So we always have blankets all over the house. So once I determine the height, I'm just going to take this painter's tape and a level to kind of set my spot. Now, because this board is cut almost the exact width, it's going to stay up there pretty nice for me. The tape really just holds it level while I do the pilot holes for the screws. So um, go ahead and you can either get a helping hand or use painter's tape like me. I just wanted to make sure that it was nice and level. If it would have been a little off, no one probably ever would have known. But I would have known. So um, painter's tape is my friend and it's holding the board in place for me. To attach the board, I went ahead and used wall screws, and I, I did check ahead of time to find where the studs were, and I didn't find any, but on the left hole, I did run into a stud, and so um, I only needed an anchor for the right side because it goes straight through drywall. Again, I just used screws that I had. I think they are probably about two and a half inches, and I used a really strong um, drywall anchor, but I'm just hanging... Um, blankets and as you can see the board is also going to be leveraged in there and so I didn't feel like I needed to use um, super strong anchors for this project. I like to go ahead and, and start with a tiny pilot hole and then I um, used a larger drill bit to more closely match the anchor. Um, obviously not bigger than the anchor because it needs something to grip onto but I also don't want to start cracking and breaking up the sheetrock. Okay, once your holes are drilled, go ahead and add any anchors if you need them. Okay, so pull the board down after you have your pilot holes drilled, and then I added a countersink bit, and this is going to make sure that the screw goes in flush, just in case your hooks are flat backed. Mine is hollowed out, so um, this was just a extra precaution. Okay, so um, at this point I went ahead and I primed my board and then I added alabaster white paint to it by Sherwin Williams and this is the color of our wall and trim and doors. It's a monochromatic look and so I just wanted it all to kind of blend seamlessly and then um, go ahead and take your drywall screws. And I like to drill a little bit 
of each one in, make sure the board's up there, and then go ahead and go all the way in. And again, these screws, um, they're countersunk, uh, which is great if you have the flat back wall hooks. Mine are, are hollow backed, so um, if they would have been pushed out a little bit, it would have been no problem. Okay, so go ahead and mark your pilot holes. And I'm just lining up the top of our hook along the top of our board, but it really depends on what hooks you use and how wide your board is. And I'm using a small drill bit um, to make sure that the screws will still grab. You're just doing a pilot hole to prevent cracking. Um, it's, it's just a, a really good step to take, especially on this left side here. I know there's a wall stud back there, and so I'm going to pilot hole all the way through. Um, just make sure that these long screw screws can get all the way through and nothing stops me. Um, and make sure you check your torque on the drill gun because you definitely don't want to strip out these screws when you're installing the hooks. You're going to want to um, start one screw and then get it lined up and then go ahead and drill them all the way in and that's it. You're done. Super easy and you know that it's in there securely. Now I mean I wouldn't hang from these hooks of course um, but they are in a wall anchor and in a stud and it's just awesome to have this new place to organize our throw blankets we don't have to fold them put them in baskets leave them all piled up on the couches and floor it's it's really nice to add this little convenient storage spot for something that we use every day so i hope this video inspired you and gave you ideas i'd love for you to give me a thumbs up and even subscribe to my channel thanks so much